Hello everyone, in this recording I will work a problem that deals with adjusting entries. Adjusting entries is one of those basic accounting concepts that you need to be familiar with. You cannot survive if you don't have a good understanding, good basic knowledge about your prepaid adjustments, deferred revenue, deferred expenses, unearned revenue. Those are a must. In this exercise, we would look at six different transactions with year ending December 31st. If you are not familiar with adjusting entries, it means you have some weaknesses in your debits and credits. Go back and view those. You have some problems with your journal entries. Adjusting entries are considered basics, but very powerful. You have to be familiar with them inside out. Let's take a look at those six journal entries entries. These are the six scenarios for the adjusting entries. If you want to pause this recording and try to solve these six separate journal entries, please do so. Then play the video to see how I would solve those step by step. Starting with the first one, which is a prepaid adjustment. On July 1st, X4, the company purchased a four-year fire insurance for 16800 well let's look at the journal entry on that date they credited cash 16800 on july 1st the company debited insurance expense the company expensed the whole thing 16800 now what's the problem in this situation what's the problem in this situation well debiting the whole expense is this correct it would have been correct if the expense would have been expired in X4. That's fine. If the 16800 would have been expired in X4, then we would not have any problem because we would have paid for it and expensed it for that year. But in our scenario here, we paid a four-year insurance policy. What does that mean? It means we have to take those, this asset those funds and divide them into 48 month because this is for 12 uh, for four periods four years so if we take 16,800 divided by 48 we need to expense per month $350 per month so the expense is incorrect so we need to reduce the expense what do we need to do we need to back out so simply put let me show it to you from a T-account perspective. From a T-account perspective, we have an insurance expense right now, 16800 which is incorrect. What do we need to do? We need to reduce insurance expense, reduce insurance expense, and take this amount and park it in, park it in prepaid expense. So how much do we need to reduce it by? Well, we, sp we need to expense July, August, September, October, November, and December. So we need to expense six months, only six months, which is 2,100. It means we need to back out. We need to make an adjustment. We need to back out and keep only an insurance expense, 2,100. Well, how much do we need to back out? out of insurance expense. How, how much do we need to back out out of insurance expense? Well, if we take the full amount, 16,800, take the 2,100 as the difference, we need to back out 14,700. Therefore, we would have debit prepaid insurance. We will credit insurance expense, 14,700, and we, will, we would credit insurance expense and increase prepaid insurance. So we took out the 14700 from insurance expense and we took it to prepaid insurance. Now let me show you what should have been the entry from the beginning. The entry from the beginning should have been credit cash and debit prepaid. If we did this properly, at the end of the period, we would have had in prepaid prepaid, which is an asset, PP is prepaid, we would have had 16,800. Then we would expense, we would remove from prepaid 2,100 and we would have expense, insurance expense, 2,100. Therefore, insurance expense would have been 2,100, but we end up with, and prepaid insurance would have ended up 14,700, what we also 
end up with this is if they did it properly the proper way should have been debit prepaid insurance 16,800 credit cash what they did in this example they debited insurance expense now why would they do so if you know you are going to use all the prepaid for that period that's fine but that's not the case in this situation the insurance policy is for four years create an asset called the prepaid and the, at the end of the period reduce the prepaid take it to the expense here what we had to do we dumped it into expense we had too many expenses we had to take it out of the expense put it in prepaid let's take a look at this journal entry that deals with recording depreciation expense this should be straightforward there's no computation here depreciation on, on property plant and equipment 18,000 easy debit depreciation expense credit accumulated depreciation remember accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account contra asset to the property plant and equipment that's reducing contra asset pretty straightforward nothing to recording depreciation expense let's take a look at accruing salary spade accruing a liability that's basically what it is all liabilities when they get accrued you always increase an expense and increase a liability this is the definition of accruing a payable we can say the same thing as accruing an expense why because whether we said we are accruing an expense or accruing a payable in either situation and either in either scenario we are increasing an expense and increasing a liability so accruing a payable and accruing expenses means the same thing so the company owed 23,740 in salaries for the month of December they were paid beginning of January simply put we need to accrue 23,740 what is accruing it means recording an expense that we have not paid yet you debit an expense and you credit its related liability now when we actually pay the employees we debit the salaries payable and we credit cash this is when we pay the employee early January let's accrue interest payable again same concept once we are accruing a payable we are increasing an expense and we are increasing a liability debit and expense credit a liability on October 1st the company secured a $250 loan with both the principal and 9% due on March 31st 20x5 well, what do we have to do here because we took the loan in x4 so we took the loan this is x4 and it will be paid in x5 with interest so we took the loan here and it will be paid here so it's a two period what we have to do during x4 we have to accrue interest we have to record interest on this loan what does that mean it means we have to take the 250,000 times 9% times October November December times 312 to accrue the interest therefore we'll take the 250 times 9% times 312 we have to accrue interest of 5625 accruing a liability or accruing an expense it's debiting an expense and crediting a liability we debit interest expense we credit interest payable the third rent revenue let's take a look at this journal entry on September 1st the company received $12,000 from a tenant for renting office space good We're, we are going to debit cash 12,000 this rent covers a six month rental period starting from that date the company's accountant credited 12,000 to the third rent revenue uh oh we credited the third rent the third rent the third rent is this correct what the what the accountant did yes what the accountant did I was trying to confuse you the accountant did the right thing the accounting deferred the revenue because this rent is basically a prepaid rent the third is the same thing as unearned unearned rent revenue of 12,000 that's September we, we're always assuming we are a uh, December 31st year end so we have now by the end of the year we have to record the revenue for September October November and December we are going to earn four out of the six month therefore we're going to take 12,000 multiplied by four six we are going to earn in revenue 
12,000 uh, I'm sorry 8,000 so we're gonna reduce the third earned revenue and we're gonna increase a revenue of 8,000 now just for your information the deferred revenue which is a liability deferred rent revenue it was 12,000 I reduced it by eight if you are asked about the balance and the third revenue I still have 4,000 which makes sense for January and February because this thing ends by the beginning of March all the rent is expired consumed let's take a look at a correcting rent revenue entry on November 1st the company received $18,000 in cash from another tenant excellent we debited cash 18,000 the rent cover a six month rental period the company's accountant credited rent revenue so the accountant very eager to show revenue the accountant credited rent rent revenue rent revenue 18,000 is this correct no because we did not earn the 18,000 of revenue we got the money in November 1st and this money covers November all of November all of December that's in year X4 then in X5 we have January February March and April so this accountant counted the whole revenue in X4 so what do we have to do we have to reduce the rent revenue take it out of the rent revenue and put it into rent revenue how much do we have to take out we have to take out four out of the six months we have to take January February March and April of year X5 therefore 18,000 multiplied by 4 6 we need to take out we need to reduce rent revenue 12,000 and we reduce rent revenue by 12,000 now the only rent revenue we have for that year is 6,000 which is correct November and December 3,000 each and we credit the third revenue we create now a deferred revenue of 12,000 this is the, the accountant did not properly recorded the transaction properly it we should have debited cash credited the third rent revenue like what we did in this exercise where we initially put the money in the third revenue then we took it out here the accountant is so eager they wanted to recognize the revenue or they did not know that we needed to defer it I'm not really sure but the point is this is a correcting entry this is it's an adjusting entry but it's a correcting because we assume this is a mistake this is an error again it would not have been an error if the rent was for the year X4 let's assume <clears throat> to change this example let's assume on uh, March 1st this transaction took place on March 1st for six months March April May June July all of March all of April all of May all of June all of July then that would have been fine that would have been okay to record all of the rent revenue that way because the whole six month the 18,000 would have been used the six month period in year X4 but here since the payment was in November X4 some of the money that we received is for year X5 so we cannot recognize the revenue until year X5 which we still have the majority of it not recognized 12,000 now yes we do have the cash in the bank account but from a gap perspective we only have 6,000 of revenue and 18,000 is a liability we need to earn it by next year what should you do you want to go to Farhat lectures and look at additional resources multiple choice lectures adjusting entries are a must it's one of those basic fundamental concepts that you need to know inside out invest in yourself Farhat lectures is always here to help